Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Today is the day. Today is the day. Definitely. How are you? Good. How I'm was... tired, but pretty good. <laughs> I know. It's Friday, so it's been a yeah. long week. It's, um, it's closet, everything in the, in the city halls or, or um, finish the sales, the signs, the check, pay, oh. the guys pay, everything. And that come back working my home, working my um, planters and my vegetables and everything. Yeah, it's very tidying, a lot of work. Yeah, I love living here because it's all natural. I like it, the the feel and everything is here. So it's beautiful. So yeah, so you can plant your own vegetables? Yes. What kind of vegetables do you have? I have a uh, tomatoes, um cucumbers, uh bananas. I don't know, wow. say guayabas and everything. Yeah, you have a lot of things. And That's great. I have, a, I have a lot of huge uh, tree, the mangoes. Wow. It's a lot. Yeah. Okay. And, and, <laughs> and, for, and for what? It's a hill and water fruit. Water fruit. And uh, I have a big... Uh, fish a poor fish <laughs> do you yeah. have a lot of things to do there <laughs> yes. and a lot of food that's i mean that's great yes, definitely, definitely. yeah good for you keep going you. keep going <laughs> okay let's see let's see welcome everybody how are you today Aha, uh -huh. hello, how are you? I can see Elizabeth. Hello, Elizabeth, how are you? Hello, uh, good evening, teacher. Good evening. I'm I'm uh -huh. Hungry. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, all right. Let's see, let's see who else, who else? Xiomara, hello, Xiomara, how are you? Hello, teacher. How are you? Okay. Okay. So let's see. Welcome, everybody. I can see Lily. Hello, Lily. How are you? Hello, teacher. Very good. Thank you. Excellent. Nice. So, everybody, welcome to the class. Today is the last one. Ya ven, si se pudo, si se pudo. So we are going to have practice today, okay? Um, but before starting, let me tell you, los felicito, ya la mayoría completó la plataforma. Very good. Y de hecho estoy viendo um, que la mayoría la terminó con muy buena calificación. Estoy viendo eh, la mayoría básicamente eh, terminó con un puntaje muy, muy bueno. Así que de verdad los felicito. Hasta el momento creo que la menor nota que he visto es 95 en el promedio final. Así que good job. Aún faltan algunos compañeros que están pendientes, pero la mayoría ya avanzó bastante. Así que great job. Um, Let's see, another thing. Hoy vamos a realizar una encuesta. ¿Revisaron la información que les enviaron al grupo de WhatsApp? Yes, it's done. I finished. Okay, remember, la instrucción decía que cuando terminen tienen que enviar un screenshot. Y en el grupo no he visto ningún screenshot hasta este momento. Así que, please, si ya los que ya la hicieron, yeah. manden el screenshot. Ok. Pero, teacher. Yes. Ahí decía que sí, en conjunto con el la... facilitador. Ah, ¿a ellos se las enviaron? Sí, ahí lo enviaron. Ah, ah ok, perfecto. Perfect. Es con usted, no sé. Con... Ok, listen. 
Si ya la completaron, solo asegúrense de eh, enviar el screen, right? Si no la han completado, don't worry, yo les puedo ir explicando paso a paso cómo hacerlo, ¿ok? Solo vamos a esperar que el resto de sus classmates <coughs> esté aquí. Now, um, eso es like the most important things today. Today tienen que hacerla porque la survey tiene que ir con la fecha de hoy. Ok, sí, así que teacher, everybody has to do it. Yes? La indicación de la encuesta dice de que nos va a proporcionar el número de orden de inicio. Wow. Yes, toda esa información yo se las voy a brindar. Ok, así que don't worry, solo vamos a esperar que estén la mayoría de sus compañeros para que eh, puedan hacerla y si no vamos a tener que hacerlas uno cuando se conecten los demás hacerlas otra vez así que vamos a esperar que se conecten la mayoría de sus classmates para poder hacerlas todos juntos ok nice well let's start vamos a ver si están listos para el siguiente nivel all right so today we are going to have a lot of practice Nuevamente, felicidades a los que ya hicieron la plataforma, right? Very good job. Okay, can everybody see the presentation? Yes. Yes, great. So today is December 16th, it's Friday. Yes. Today is the last day. So today topic is vocabulary practice. And the objective is that participants will be able to ask and tell people the specific location of places and also directions. But look at this. You did it. <laughs> you finished the level number one. So how do you feel? Happy. Happy, that's the attitude. Look at this, everybody, acuérdense. <laughs> Hace, hace exactamente un mes, right? Se puede decir cuatro semanas. Estábamos iniciando, right? So, y, a, y ahí estábamos con que mucho nos cuesta. Ya no voy a seguir. Es que no puedo. But look at you. Ya terminaron el primer nivel, right? Y sí, requiere sacrificio. Yo sé que no es fácil, pero lo hicieron. ¿Qué significa? Si pudieron completar el nivel uno, significa que pueden completar el resto de los niveles, right? Creo que el nivel 1 era el más difícil porque es donde aprendemos cómo funciona la plataforma, cuál es el sistema que vamos a seguir, pero ahora ya todos podemos, right? Ya todos conocemos el sistema, eh, el ritmo que hay que llevar. Así que, everybody, let's continue. Remember. A mí se me olvida. <laughs> Ok, pero, listen, poquito a poco, everybody. Cuando lleguemos al segundo nivel, hay cosas que las vamos a, a estar repitiendo. Yo sé que es difícil memorizarnos todo, right? Pero poquito a poco vamos a seguir revisándolas, vamos a seguir practicando nuevamente y vamos a ir aprendiendo cositas nuevas, ok? Así que, Recommendations, no se rindan. Acuérdense el por qué están haciendo esto, right? Acuérdense su motivación, las razones por las que quieren hacerlo. Y recuerden que al final el tiempo siempre se va a pasar y hay que tratar la manera de usar el tiempo en algo que nos va a servir después. Si no, solo vamos a decir en qué usamos el tiempo. Ah, en dormir, <ríe> right? Así que no, tratemos de usarlo en algo bueno. Así que, ¿están listos para el siguiente nivel? Are you ready for the next level, everybody? Yes. 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 Good evening, Excellent. teacher. Good evening, Ana. Welcome to the class. So, everybody, I think that everybody's ready for the next level. Así que, denle con todo, please. Now, como se trata de un vocabulary review, Revisemos el vocabulary de los places in our city. Ayer vimos los niveles easy, right, and medium. So today we are going to check the difficult ones. Are you ready for the difficult one? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and only one says yes, oh my goodness. Okay, the hard level, okay? I'm going to show you picture and 
You just have to tell me what is it. Uh-huh. ATM. ATM. Great ATM. job. Is there an ATM in your city? Yes, I do. Yes, no, there, there is. is. Oh, there is. Yes. Okay, very good, very good. What is this? Mm, so, for example, uh -huh, when you go, for example, to Metro Centro or mm -hmm. Galerias, Multiplaza, mm -hmm. there are a lot of restaurants in the same place. So, what is the name of that place? Food Station. <laughs> Close, close. Uh, Full. No? Okay, I will help you. It's food court. Food court. Food court. Food court. Si se fijan a veces, hasta dice ahí, right? Food court. So food court is the place where everybody can eat and there are a lot of restaurants. Okay, food court. Okay, what is this? We already say this one. Hardware. Hardware? Study. Hard. Hardware store. Hardware store. That's the one. Are there a lot of hardware stores in your city? Yes, there are two hardware stores. Okay, very good, very good. What is this? Yo uh -huh. will, yo will. Mm. Uh -huh, any idea? Yeah, one. Yeah, Jewelry store. Jewelry. Jewelry store. So, is there a jewelry store in your city? No, there isn't. There isn't? Everybody? No? Okay. How about this one? Feel soccer or feel... Switch? Soccer field, soccer. but if it is bigger, Huge. Cuscatlan, Cuscatlan, what is Cuscatlan? Is a soccer field or stadium? Stadium. So when we say soccer field, it's like la cancha, right? Sometimes is when we are talking about the place like small but the biggest one is stadium okay okay what is this this party <laughs> this <laughs> yes yeah. so in, in our country normally we say discotheque right but you can also say nightclub no problem what is that? Um, Gray America Park. Playing mechanics. Uh -huh, mechanics. Uh -huh. Okay, we call it amusement the park. Amusement park. For example, hmm, do we have amusement park here in El Salvador? Yeah. Uh -huh. Very good. That's correct. That's correct. Where is it? No. No. Uh huh. Microphones. Be careful with the microphones. Hi, uh -huh, everybody. What is it? Um, barbería. Come on. Ah. <laughs> okay. Listen. Salon. Barber, uh, barber shop uh, is salon. for men, right? And for women, we say beauty salon or hair salon, okay? What is this? 
and infantil. ¿Se han fijado que en el park hay una sección de juegos para niños? So, ¿Cómo se llama esa sección? Para garden. Niños. No idea. Look, it's a playground. Oh. Is there a playground in your park? Yes. Okay. No. no, yes. So, no. playground. Okay, veamos si se las aprendieron. What is this? Beauty salon. Beauty salon or hair salon. If it is for men, barbershop. What is this? Uh, playground. No. Well, mm. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> It's a start with A. Ah, park, amusement park. <laughs> yes, amusement Elvin. Park. Very good. Very good. Amusement park. What is this? Night Night club. All right. Jewelers. Jewelry. Jewelry store. Hardware. Hardware store. Hardware store. Food. Food court. Food court. Food court. Bakery. Bakery. And? ATM. 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 Great job. Great job. So, little by little, we will continue learning the vocabulary. Okay? Little by little. Now, before continue, I'm going to check attendance. So, everybody, when you listen to your names, say present. Ana Carmina. Present teacher. Thank you. Douglas Arnoldo. Okay, Douglas Arnoldo. Okay, Guillermo Alex. Present. Thank you. Eh, Harvin Vladimir. Present. Jesús Ernesto. Jesús Ernesto. Okay. Jesús Joannis. Present. Very good. Rigoberto Padilla. Rigoberto Padilla. What happens to Rigoberto? Do you Marina. know that? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. No. I'm not saying the teacher. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, Rogelio Enrique. Present teacher. Very good. <laughs> Selvis. Present teacher. Very good. Sonia Elizabeth. Present teacher. All right, um, Sonia Veronica. Okay. Um, let's see, Wilson. Okay. Um, Siomara Elizabeth. Present teacher. Thank you. Lili Navarro. Present teacher. Very good. Okay, okay very good. So everybody, remember, this is the last day. Espero que los classmates que todavía no están se puedan unir soon. Okay, let's review a little bit the topic that we studied yesterday. Thieves. Okay, the adjective yesterday. Everybody be careful with the microphones, please. Everybody be careful with the microphones, please. Uh-huh. Tell me the adjectives that we studied yesterday. ¿De cuáles se acuerdan? The, uh, nice place. Comfortable. Uh -huh. Comfortable. Comfortable. Huge. huge. Tiny. Narrow. Mm -hmm. Big. All right. Small. Small. All right. I see you remember. Okay. What was the first one? Illuminator. That's Narrow. correct. So look at the picture. What is the first one? Comfortable. Comfortable. That's correct. Very good. 
big. Can you tell me a huge. synonym of big? Huge. huge. Correct. Huge. huge. Synonym of small? Tiny. 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 Very good. Very good. Okay. Look at this one. Nice. 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 The opposite of <clears throat> nice? Nice. Um, the, the Justin. Disgusting. Yes. Correct. Disgusting. Uh huh. Smell. Smell. Smelly. Okay. Smelly. Okay. What about the next one? Narrow. 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 <laughs> Illuminator. 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 Very good. Dark. 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 Oh Dark. my gosh. Very good job. I can see you remember the vocabulary. Nice job. Okay. Yesterday we talked about there is, there are in vocabulary. So what is the characteristic of the adjectives? They go at the beginning of the sentence, at the end of the sentence, or before the noun? What is the position of the adjectives? Before the noun. Correct, before the noun. Can I say, for example, I will give you a sentence, tell me if the sentence is correct or not. There is, a bed huge. Is that correct? No. no. What is the correct one? Huge <laughs> bed. There is ah, a huge bed. There is a huge bed. So remember, be careful with the microphones. So remember, everybody, first I need the adjective. And then I need the noun. So yesterday also we studied the places. We were talking about some places in El Salvador that you can recommend to some tourists. So yesterday you picked some places and you created some sentences and I want to listen to some of the descriptions. Así que vamos a seleccionar así nombres randomly y vamos a escuchar su descripción. Así que please, con su descripción en la mano, I want to listen to the places that you would recommend to some tourists. ¿Qué lugares escucharon ayer? ¿Qué, escu qué lugares dijeron sus classmates? Playas. The beach, the beach, the beach, wow. okay. okay, restaurant, beach, all right, sounds good. Okay, let's listen to some of your classmates. Let's see. Let's see who's the lucky one. I'm going to pick randomly. Okay. The first one will be... Douglas, but I think that Douglas cannot talk <coughs> in this <coughs> moment. I'm going to pick someone else. <coughs> Jesus Ernesto. Jesus Ernesto is here. Yes? Not yet. Not yet. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's pick someone else. Joannis. Okay, Joannis is here. So everybody, let's pay attention. Hello, Joannis. Hi. Um, I recommend Heroglyphs. It is on Tarpeya. There is a nice place. There are a nice long landscape. There is a beautiful river. There is nice waterfall. There is a nice view and there are beautiful clips clip all right can you repeat the name again uh hair hero glyphs hair what is that no hero glyphs and where is 
jeroglíficos, pero as, somos seis pronunciation in English or Spanish. I don't know. Jeroglíficos. Oh, yeah, you can say jeroglyphics. So, yeah. where is it? It is on Tarpeya. Mm, okay, all right, okay. <coughs> Good. Now, let's hear who's the next one. Guillermo. Okay, Guillermo. Okay. What place do you recommend? I, re I am I recommend and um, El Pescado Restaurant. <clears throat> it, it is in kilometer 15 on Littoral Strip, La Libertad. There are a lot of drinks. There are a lot of delicious food. There is a big parking lot. There is a good <laughs> attention. There is a good view or a scenario. Okay, what's the name of the restaurant? Uh, microphone. Se llama en español el pescado. Uh, es inventado. Uh, <laughs> ah, yo pensé que era de verdad. Okay, but nice. Very good, very good. Okay, let's see who's next. Okay, Wilson, are you there, Wilson? Hello, teacher. Okay, Wilson, what place do you recommend? <coughs> I recommend the uh, uh, park park uh, of the Tamanique. Mm -hmm. There is there is a uh, uh, there is a uh, one árbol de Navidad. Christmas tree. Christmas tree. Uh, there, there are more, more share. Uh, there are just uh, uh, mm, a lot of uh, beautiful people. All right, very good, very good. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Elizabeth. Okay, Elizabeth, what place do you recommend? Repeat the, 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 the question, teacher. What place do you recommend? Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Give me two, one second. Uh, Lago de Coatepeque. This is on the Santa Ana Street in El Congo. There is a nice place because there are restaurants with delicious seafood. Uh, where is it huge? huge? No, not huge. Uh, huge lago. There are beautiful people. There aren't bars. There aren't very clean the restaurants. Uh, can you practice uh, water games? Oh, you can practice. What are games? Yes. Okay, sounds good. Thank you, Elizabeth. Now, question. How can we say lago in English? Lake. 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 That's the one. Oh, exactly. Lake. So, important. In English, we don't change the proper names. So, el nombre es Lago de Coatepeque. O Lago de Ilopango. So, el nombre propio doesn't change. So, podemos decir Ilopango. No problem. Y solo le vamos a cambiar la palabra lago. Lake. Lake. Okay. For example, el río Lempa. ¿Cómo diríamos río Lempa? Lempa River. Exactly. That's correct. Lempa River. So, nombres propios doesn't change, ¿ok? Solo cambiamos el nombre ya común. So, everybody, now vamos a 
parar un momentito. Vamos a realizar lo que es la encuesta en este momento. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. ¿Quiénes no están? <coughs> ya estamos todos los que somos. Yeah, right. Okay. Let's start. I'm going to give you some instructions. It's important, everybody, pay attention. Cuando terminemos la encuesta, necesito que todos tomen un screenshot. Okay? Please, que eso sí, no se les olvide. Así que cuando la terminen, screenshot. Ok. En el grupo de WhatsApp, there is a link. ¿Ya todos pueden ver el link, el enlace de la encuesta? Yes. Please, everybody. Abran el enlace, please. Todos abran el enlace. Ready, teacher. Ready, ok. Los demás, ¿cómo van? Abran el enlace, please. Les va a aparecer, les voy a compartir pantalla para que se fijen cómo les tiene que aparecer. Look. Esta es la encuesta que les va a aparecer. En la primera pregunta, les van a preguntar acá el nombre del... Um, del curso, right? Ahí dice el nombre de la orden. Ahorita les voy a compartir el número de orden. Cópienlo tal y como está ahí. Con todo y los guiones, con todo y las plecas, todos los números. Ahorita aquí en el chat se los estoy enviando. Ese número es el número que van a colocar en la número uno. Revisen el chat, please, de aquí de Zoom. Ese número lo van a colocar en la primera question, tal y como se los acabo de enviar. Ok, me avisan cuando estén listos. ¿Ya colocaron el número en el primero? Copienlo tal y como está ahí. Ahí se los envían. En el chat de Zoom, revisa el chat de Zoom. Ya lo copiamos, ya lo copié. Ok, thank you, Joanny. Estoy en el chat de Zoom, pero... CCAMTP111, no. No, es un número. 2, 8, 6, 3, 7, ahí está. No. Ok, Selby, se lo voy a enviar a usted en un chat privado. Let's get this. ¿Los demás? ¿Cómo van? ¿Ya pudieron? ¿Ya? Yes? Sí. Yes. No, no, no lo encuentro. Ahorita. Ok, uh, let's do. Bueno, en el noches. grupo de WhatsApp también se los enviaron. Hola, Katherine. Bienvenida. Buenas noches, gracias. Eh, se lo compartí igual en el grupo de WhatsApp. Es el último mensajito y también se los hemos enviado en el chat aquí de Zoom. Thank you, Katherine. Ok, everybody, si no lo encuentran en el chat de aquí de Zoom, revisen el grupo de WhatsApp, please. Ahí está también. Para los que ya completaron ese paso, luego tienen que completar la siguiente información. Nombre completo, please, no, no coloquen solo. Ah, Clarisa, no, full name, así como está en el DUI, así lo colocan, please. Full names. Correo electrónico, asegúrense de colocar el correo electrónico que han brindado aquí en el programa. Okay. El número de celular. Ajá. El nombre del proveedor es inglés corporativo. Vaya, el nombre del proveedor, everybody, tienen que colocar inglés corpor eh, corporativo, regalo internacional, SADCB. Ahí también les aparece en el chat. ¿Y nombre del curso? El nombre del curso es Inglés Principiante Módulo 1. Ahí está en el chat de Zoom toda la información, everybody. Si alguien tiene dudas, please, si alguien se ha quedado en un paso, me avisa. Miguel. Yes. El número que usted ha enviado ahí en el chat de, de aquí de Zoom. 
lo vamos a poner en la, en la, en la, primera, en la primera respuesta. En la primera, la correcto, exacto. El número que enviamos es el número que van a colocar acá, look, en la número uno. Luego su nombre completo, el correo electrónico que brindaron en el programa, su número, no van a andar colocando otro número, please. Femenino, Teacher, masculino, ajá. ¿Cuándo comenzó el curso? El, el 21. El curso comenzó, eh, yes, el 21 de noviembre. 21 de noviembre y finaliza hoy 16 de diciembre. Richard, perdón, el nombre del curso, ¿cuál dijo que era? Ok, el nombre del curso, everybody, aquí está en el chat, please, revisen, inglés principiante módulo 1. Inglés principiante módulo 1. Uno. Acá en el nombre del proveedor, remember, tienen que colocar inglés corporativo. No olviden, please, al final, ustedes acá en el número 11, right, pay attention, ustedes tienen que calificar y evaluar según su propia percepción. Lean cuidadosamente y decidan y solo le van dando clic. Remember, Teacher, fecha de inicio. Yes. Es inglés corporativo, entre paréntesis aparece regal. regal exactly. Ajá, international SADCB, correcto. Ok. Yes. Teacher, donde dice el nombre completo, el nombre de uno, ¿verdad? Sí. Inglés. Ok. Justo como está en el DUI. Inglés principiante. Módulo de inicio, principiante. Dijo? Módulo principiante. Ok. Hold on, hold on. Vamos nuevamente. Pay attention, please. Les voy a explicar nuevamente para los que se me han ido quedando. Repito. Pregunta número uno. Ahí es el número que enviamos al WhatsApp. Pregunta número dos. Su nombre completo, tal y como está en el DUI. Su correo, el correo que brindaron en el programa, su número de teléfono. Luego ahí femenino, masculino. El municipio donde ustedes viven. Right? Bueno, departamento, luego municipio. En la empresa tienen que colocar eh, donde ustedes trabajan. En el nombre del proveedor tienen que buscar el programa ahí inglés corporativo. Luego, en el nombre del curso, inglés principiante módulo 1. Inglés principiante módulo 1. Fecha de inicio. Donde trabaja hasta el día municipal de Tamaní, que así está bien. Yes, that's all right. Ok. Ok, fecha de inicio, everybody. Empezamos el 21 de noviembre. Del 2022. Terminamos 16 de diciembre del 2022. Teacher, perdón, donde dice si hay otros cursos, eh, como por ejemplo, ¿cuáles? Porque hay muchos. De Aquí es lo que a ustedes les llame la atención. Por ejemplo, eh, ah, a mí me gustaría aprender Excel, right? Ah, okay. eh, no sé, eso ya el curso que ustedes deseen. Ahora, everybody, al enviar el screenshot, una vez que han terminado la encuesta, remember, esta número 15 y número 16 eh, son sus propias palabras, luego le dan clic en submit, o si lo tienen en español, les dirá enviar, submit o enviar. Una vez que le han dado clic en submit, les va a aparecer un mensaje que dice gracias por completar esta encuesta. A esa que diga gracias, ahí es donde van a tomar el screenshot. ¿Ok? Y ese es el screenshot que van a compartir en el grupo. Teacher, inglés principiante módulo 1, dijo. El 11. Perdón, que mm. me quedé ahí. Eh, sí, inglés principiante módulo 1. Ok. Inglés principiante módulo 1. Teacher, la 9, nombre del proveedor con el que se capacitó. Inglés corporativo, 
Ok. Y entre paréntesis le va a aparecer Regal International SADCB. Ok, eso selecciono. Exactly. Yes. Nombre del curso. Inglés principiante módulo 1. Ese hay que escribirlo, ¿verdad? Yes. Remember, para los que ya van terminando, al darle clic en Submit, les va a aparecer un mensaje que diga thank you o gracias por llenar esta encuesta. Ahí toman el screenshot y lo comparten en el grupo. Ok, let's see. Tengo Enrique. Thank you, Enrique. Enrique ya lo envió. Very good. Si alguien se ha quedado, si tienen dudas, please tell me. ¿Cómo considera el tiempo empleado para desarrollar cualquiera de las cinco opciones? Ustedes van a considerar. Uh -huh. Ahí es su propio criterio, everybody. You decide. If you have questions, tell me please. No olviden tomar la captura y compartirla. Ok, en su caso, Joanis, veo que usted tomó la captura, pero no la de que dice thank you. Eh, ¿Le tomó captura ahí al final? Very good. Veo que dos personas ya le enviaron. Ok, Guillermo, very good. Ok, Joanis, si me ayuda compartiendo la captura, pero la que aparece al final, please. Si tienen dudas, please tell me. Teacher, ¿cómo hago para recuperarlo? La captura va no, a ser no. este cuando ya finalizamos antes de enviarla. Ok, listen. Pay attention, please. Pay attention. Cuando ustedes terminen la survey, le van a dar clic en Submit. Una vez que le han dado clic en Submit, les va a aparecer un mensaje que dice gracias por enviar esta encuesta eh, o gracias por la respuesta que se ha enviado. Ahí es donde van a tomar un screen. Fíjense cómo lo están haciendo algunos de sus compañeros. Algunos de sus compañeros ya la están eh, enviando. Así que. Teacher mencioné que otros cursos son de su interés. Ese es el de ustedes. ¿Qué cursos les llamaría la atención tomar a ustedes? Como les decía, puede ser un curso de Excel. No sé, algo que a ustedes les gustaría aprender. ¿Qué otros cursos se les hace llamativos? Electricista, se puede. <ríe> All right, you write it. <ríe> Electricista o electricidad, ¿cómo? Mm. Electricidad podría ser. Ok. Vaya, para los que se van uniendo, veo que algunos ingresaron tarde. Everybody, abran el enlace, please. Y les en comentarios, teacher. Survey. Comentarios con sus palabras. En general, ¿qué les pareció el curso? Ah, excelente, eh, está bien. Podrían escribirlo. Uh -huh. En la número 9, ¿qué es lo que íbamos a poner? Dijo inglés corporativo, ¿verdad? Yes, inglés corporativo y ahí entre paréntesis, Rachel International SADCB. Vaya, para los que iniciaron tarde o entraron tarde, doy las instrucciones nuevamente, así que please pay attention. Ingresamos al enlace de la encuesta, 
les va a parecer similar a lo que estoy mostrando en pantalla. Tienen que colocar el número de orden. Eso está en el chat aquí de Zoom, pero también está en el grupo de WhatsApp. Por ahí lo enviaron, así que solo tienen que copiar y pegar. All right. Teacher, a mí me pareció gracias a la respuesta que se ha enviado. Exactly. A eso tome el screenshot, Selvis, please. La captura, ok. Exactly. Ahí aparece y... usted, está bien. <laughs> It's okay, no worries. So, esa tome la captura y la envía, please. Ok. Si alguien tiene dudas, me avisa, please. Si alguien no ha completado la encuesta, me avisa. En su caso, Joannis, entonces usted no pudo tomar la captura, right? Ya, ya le envié, teacher. Ah, ok. Thank you. Very good. Ah, sí, ya la vi. Thank you, thank you. Ya le envié también, teacher. Excellent, very good. Tenemos one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ok, eight. Tengo eight, well, nine. Ok. Ya envié la mía, teacher, aparece ahí. Thank you, Selvis. Very good. Okay, algunos todavía no la han enviado. Please send it. Okay, tengo nueve. Hacen falta tres. Preguntas, preguntas. Si alguien no sabe qué colocar en un espacio, please tell me. Ok, tengo diez. Very good, very good. Excellent. Thank you, Jesús, Ernesto. Very good. Ok, creo que ya todos terminaron. Yes, no yet. Si tienen dudas, please. Tell me, tell me. All right. Well, creo que ya, creo que ya están todas, I guess. Ok, es importante que todos la envíen, ¿ok? Y cuando digo todos, es todos. Si no la envían, ahí lo van a llegar a buscar a su casa. <ríe> All right, so be careful. Ok, everybody, thank you for... <ríe> ah, Lili, si tiene preguntas, me avisa, please. No, ahorita lo que pasa es que... Me andaba buscando en galería un montón, me parece igual ahí. Ya pues. encontré la mía. Ahí okay. ya está. Thank you, Lily. Very good. Excellent. Ok, very good. Douglas está pendiente, pero es que Douglas creo que no está escuchando en este momento. Bien, everybody, thank you for completing the survey. Thank you. Very good. Now, let's continue. Eh, vamos a revisar un poquito así rapidito algunos de los topics más importantes que hemos visto para asegurarnos que están ready, ok? If you have questions, this is the moment. If there is a question like, I, I don't understand that topic, so tell me, I can explain again. Now, can you see the presentation, everyone? Yes? Yes, yes. Excellent. Okay. That's the one. Let's see how much you remember. Ah, the double H words. Do you remember this topic? Yes. A little bit. Okay. What? Yes. <laughs> Who? W H. 
Okay, Come who on. is for animals, objects? People. Ah, people. People. For people. people. What? It's for and action. Things or action. actions. When? <clears throat> Uh -huh. The time. Correct. <coughs> Where? The place. Places. Yeah. And why? Uh, Do you remember why? As, as mm. Reason. 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 Oh, no. So, imagine, oh. si yo les hago una question con oh, why, so. ¿cómo me responden? <laughs> Because. 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 And how? How? What is that? How? The procedures. Yeah. Procedures. Procedures, the way that you do something. Okay, let's do a practice. I'm going to show you some sentences and you have to decide what is the correct double-edged word. Okay? So, for example, no. No. is no. your best friend? No. Who is your best friend? Who, who, is, your who friend? is your best friend? Be careful with the pronunciation. Is who? 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 Very good. Who? Okay, volunteer for the number two. When? What? What time? What time was you in class ah. at quarter to 12? Very good. So what time? What time is your science <laughs> class? Okay, I will be asking individually. Let me start with Wilson. Wilson, number three. What will be the correct double-edged word? Uh huh, Wilson. What? Wilson, are you there? Wilson. Wilson. Okay, Xiomara, help him. Is yeah. your favorite teacher? Huh, Mr. Smith. Si no me equivoco, what? What? What yeah. is your favorite teacher? In this case, ¿de qué estoy hablando? The people. Sure. People. people. Oh. So, oh. if I'm talking about people, oh. what is the correct double-edged word? Who? Who? That's who? the one. Who? Who is your <coughs> favorite teacher? Very nice. Okay, thank you, Samara. Now, let's see. Um, da -da 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 -da. Elizabeth, number four. Uh, okay, well, is the English class it's next week? When is the English exam? When is the English exam? Ah, it's next Tuesday. Very good, very good. Okay. <clears throat> Selvis, number five, what do you think? Don't you some tire? Mm. Where? Where? Okay. Where? Look, ¿qué pregunta Where? respondíamos con because? Because, because no me recuerdo muy bien. Why? Why? Mm. Why? 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 Very good. Why? Remember, siempre que usamos why, normalmente respondemos con un because. because. So, why don't you do the homework? I because I'm tired. Okay? Very good. Okay, let's continue with Johnny's number six. What will be the question? When? <coughs> when? Yes. When is your history book? Look at the answer. Ah, it's in my bag. Mm. 
Are you sure that is when? No, no, no. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, no. what, what will be the correct one? Estoy preguntando <clears throat> por un tiempo, por algo, or a reason, a place, a person. Por por algo, por un libro. Mm. ¿Tendría, ¿Tendría sentido si digo what? What is no. your history book? Mm. Yeah. Ah, no. it's in my bag. Where? Ah. Where? Where? Where is my history book? ¿A dónde está el libro? In my? Bag. 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 That's the one. Very good. Okay, Guillermo, number seven. What would be the answer? Uh, uh, hmm. what? what what are those they are headphones yes that's correct if you see estamos preguntando por un object okay very good next um Jesús Ernesto number eight yeah. uh, when when is your birthday party? Ah, very good. It's next Friday. Thank next you. Friday. Friday. Enrique, number nine. Where? Where? Where are you from? I'm from Italy. Very good, very good. Okay, Lily, number 10. Uh, who? Who is that who? woman? Yes, I'm asking for people. Very good. Let's see. Ana Carmina, next. Uh, what's your name? My name is Karen. Correct. Very good. Very good. Harvey, number 12. ABC. Why? Why? Okay. Why doesn't she like math? Look, we answer with because. Very good. Very good. <clears throat> Okay, let's see. ¿A quién no le he preguntado? Xiomara. Xiomara, okay. Xiomara. Oh, yeah, ya le preguntamos. But try it again. Number 13. Did you finish school yesterday? Ah, at one o'clock. Um, what time? What time? Uh -huh. What time did you finish school yesterday? What time? Good. Volunteer, 14. What would be the answer? Oh. Is your what? favorite day? What is, what? what is your favorite day? What? That's the, oops. That's the one. What? What is yeah. your favorite day? Uh, hi, everybody. What is your favorite day? Monday, Tuesday, Saturday. Saturdays. Okay. And you Wednesday. Friday. Oh, <laughs> Wednesday. Wednesday. Okay. Hmm, okay. Okay. How about Monday? Uh huh. Nobody likes Monday. <laughs> Disgusting. Disgusting. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Horrible. It's horrible. I know. I know. Okay. The last question. Are they? Ah, they are at the school. Whoa. When are they? When? Monday. Ah. 
Where, where that's mm -hmm. correct. Where are they? Ah, they are out of school. Very good job. Okay, thank you, everybody. Now, before continue, Douglas is here. Douglas, pay attention, please. Vamos a llenar una encuesta, Douglas, su classmate. Okay. Ya lo hicieron. Okay, de WhatsApp, hay un enlace. Puede ver el enlace. Ver. Okay, ahorita. Thank you. El enlace, ¿cuál es, teacher? Ahorita se lo voy a enviar. Ah, enlace encuesta, ¿ya? Yes, ese es. Ok. Vaya, va a abrir la información, va a abrir la encuesta. Listen, en un mensaje le voy a enviar ciertos datos, que son los datos que le van a preguntar en la encuesta. All right. Ok. Now, it's important, Douglas... Eh, conteste todo en el nombre completo es justo como está en su DUI please. correo, número de teléfono el que usted brindó en el programa um, okay. complete todo, conteste todo si tiene dudas, ahí en un mensaje le envíe la información que tiene que completar al final please pay attention al final Douglas cuando termine la encuesta le da clic en submit Ok. Ok. Una vez que le ha dado clic en submit, le va a aparecer un mensaje que dice gracias por su respuesta, gracias por haber enviado la respuesta. Ahí le tiene que tomar un screenshot. Si se fija, así sus compañeros lo han estado enviando en el grupo. Así que usted le toma esa captura y la envía en el grupo también. Ok. Si tiene dudas, me avisa. Ahí voy a estar pendiente. Complete la survey y me avisa. ¿Ok? No olvide tomar el screenshot, please. Eso es bien importante. Así como lo hicieron sus compañeros, eh, que aparece el screenshot en el grupo, así la tiene que tomar usted también. Si tiene dudas, please, me avisa. Now, Everybody, it's important to use the double H words. Como ya vimos las double H words, imagine que a ustedes en su trabajo les dicen que van a llenar esta ficha. Imagine, ¿cómo le preguntarían esta información a su classmate? Imagine, yo quiero saber el name. ¿Cómo pregunto eso? What's your name? Ah, what's your name? Yo quiero saber el phone number. Where is your phone? Ah, very good. Yo quiero saber el place. ¿Cómo pregunto el place? Yo quiero Where saber dónde... Ah, very good. Vamos a decir... Where do you work? work? Yo quiero saber cuál es la ocupación de esa persona, su posición, qué es lo que hace. ¿Cómo le pregunto eso? How can I ask? What, what's your occupation? What's your occupation? Very good. What's your occupation? Okay, here we say what's your phone number? Okay. El department. Aquí no estamos hablando del department like Santa Ana, San Salvador, San Miguel. No. We are talking about the department inside the company. Una compañía tiene diferentes departments, right? For example, el departamento de contaduría, recursos humanos, eh, el departamento de contaduría. A lot. Marketing, publicity, different. Where is your workplace? Mm, or, podríamos preguntar solo, what is your department? Ya vamos department. a ver ese vocabulary. Don't worry. What's your department? Okay. Now, quiero saber la address. ¿Cómo le pido la address? What do you get up in the world? Okay, imagine que aquí from? les estoy preguntando la address, 
de su trabajo, no la address de su casa. Ok, so, ¿cómo pregunto la address del trabajo? Where, where do you go to the work? Where, where do you go to work? Mm. Where, okay. uh, get. Podríamos decir, where is your job? Where is your job? Okay. So, in that case, we are just asking. O podríamos decir, what is your job's address? Okay. So, ahí la opción que ustedes quieran. Where is your job or what is your job address? Ahora, como empleados, ustedes tienen un ID que es como su number of identification. ¿Cómo puedo preguntar el ID? When do you ID? When? Mm, ¿Cuál no, usamos uh, para object? Uh, what? Uh, what? What? But what is your ID? ID? Number. No. Number. Ok, so the idea is, quiero que ustedes completen esta ficha, right, with the information of your classmates. Now, ¿qué es lo único que nos haría falta? El department. ¿Cómo decimos el departamento al que pertenecemos? Veamos alguno de los vocabularies. Please pay attention here. Imagine, where do you work? Imagine tenemos el primero que sería production. ¿Está el departamento de production in your job? No, that oh. is no. Ok. How about this one? Purchasing. <laughs> Purchasing son los que se encargan como cuando van a comprar algo para la compañía, right? Que van a comprar paper, van a comprar computers, o van a comprar cualquier tipo de cosas, todo lo que tenga relacionado con compras, eso es purchasing. ¿Tiene purchasing? Ayuda, perdón. Yes. Ok, Douglas, tell me. Por ejemplo, aquí nombre del proveedor con el que se capacitó. Ok, ahí se lo mandé en un mensajito, inglés corporativo, y entre paréntesis dice Regional International SADCB. Ok. Y el Ese curso. En... O sea, de ahí tengo que sacar todo. De, de lo que me mando tengo que sacar toda la información. Yes. La que no sea personal. El resto de la información es su información personal. Pero al inicio. No, perdón. Al inicio no entiendo. Que dice. In, ingresa el número completo de la orden de inicio. Es la que me mandó de primero entonces. Yes, ese es el número sí. que está. Donde dice orden de inicio, ese número que le envié es el que coloca en la primera pregunta. Ok. Le comparto pantalla. Look, lo va a pegar tal y como está ahí. Look. No puedo pegarlo, no sé por qué. O sea, lo pego todo, me aparece, me aparece para pegarlo todo. Ok, no se lo voy copiar. a enviar otra vez. Ahí está. Ese sí okay, que lo voy a poder sí. copiar. Uh -huh. Ok, gracias. You're welcome. Ok, so, eh, ¿en qué estaba? I'm so sorry. Oh, Se llama Oasi. So, Oasi. is there a purchasing department in your Yes. Office? Yes. Oasi. Yes. Ok, so, copy please. Purchasing. Now, in the next one, another department. Human resources. Is there a no. department in your a job? No. No there, isn't. no, there isn't. Okay, let's no, see another isn't. one. Marketing. Human resources. Human resources. Recursos, Recursos humanos. humanos. Humano. Okay. Is there human resources in your company? No. no. Are you sure? No. no. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, next. Marketing. 
Is there a marketing no. department in your company? Remember that no. marketing son los que se encargan de toda la publicidad de la company. Mm -hmm. Los que andan tomando fotos, los mm -hmm. que andan posteando cosas en las redes sociales. So, Turismo yeah. le llamamos. Yeah. Which one? Turismo. Turismo. No. Ah, Turismo. Okay. So it has a different name, but it's kind of the same. Now, accounting and finance. Is there? Turismo and the last one. Yes. Right. So imagine si les preguntan a ustedes, where do you work? What is your department? What is your department? Are you in the accounting and finance? Are you in the, uh, well, you say that there is not human resources. So customer service is another department. ¿Qué creen que es customer service? Servicio al cliente. Exactly. So we have customer service. Tenemos administration. What else? Can you tell me what is your department? Customer service. Customer service. También tenemos sales. Si ustedes son los que se encargan como de vender cosas, right? Sales. <laughs> What else? Delivery. Y <laughs> departamento uh -huh. jurídico, ¿cómo se dice? Okay, so, I'm going so to write it. The tours for the waterfall. Ah, yes, very good. Okay, if you are talking about, about like the jurídico, you can say just legal, like the legal department. Legal. <coughs> What else? Legal department. What is your department, everyone? Desarrollo urbano y ordenamiento territorial. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Urban development. You're in development. 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 Mm -hmm. Very good. What else? Any uh, other secretaria. department? Secretary. Secretaria. Uh -huh. Just secretary. Secretary department. So, ahora que ya vimos alguno de los departments, ya podríamos contestar a la pregunta, right? So, ya podríamos contestar la question de departments. So, that is exactly what I want you to do, ¿ok? Quiero que vayan, complete the information with your classmates. Les van a ir preguntando, um, hello, what is your name? Ah, ok. Muchas veces ya me, no, porque no me aparece, le tomé captura y no me aparece, no sé si me, me sacó, pero no. Ya, yeah, ya no está en el grupo, Douglas, no worries. No, pero no es esta la mía, creo yo. Pero es su número, es el que me aparece ahí. Sí, pero yo mandé la, la que me apareció, pensé que era la mía, pero en la captura no me aparece nada. O sea, que es la que mandé fue la de una de alguien, quizá. Ok, revisen su galería, porque si no envío, porque si no, a I mí, mean, tiene que ser. Porque abro de nuevo ese volado y me vuelve al no, comienzo. Es que me si, no, es que si no la tomó, ya no, la va, ya no le va a volver a salir. Porque la, solo se puede llenar una vez el formulario. Bueno, igual. <risa> si no, ni modo. <risa> ok, bueno. Well, Um, so, everybody, I want you to interview your classmates, okay? I want you to tell them, hey, what's your name? What's your main phone? What is your... Pregúntenle a dónde trabajan. Where do you work? I want you to tell them about the occupation, about the department. I'm going to send you a picture in the group with all the information that you need to ask. ¿Ok? Y en este momento, please, zero Spanish. ¿Ok? We only have five minutes. Si su classmate no entiende una question, you have to help them, but not in Spanish, only English. Now, important. La idea es poner en práctica lo que hemos aprendido. ¿Ok? Imagine, for example, ¿cómo damos una address? Puedo decir, ah... Is in Main Street. Is that correct? 
No. What is the correct one? It's oh. on a street or oh, it's uh -huh. on literal street. On, oh, that is the correct preposition. ¿Y qué tenemos que dar después? Um, referring. Exactly. So you can say it's next to or between, in front of, okay? Also, phone number. No se vale decir, ah, sí, siete. No, in English. Seven, five, two, blah, 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 blah. Okay? Also, yo, eh, in occupation, no se vale decir, ah, yes, secretaria. No, English, secretary. Ah, eh, consejero. No, it has to be in English. Workplace. Ah, en la alcaldía. Can I say that? Hmm. No, it has to be in English. City Do you remember? Hall. How can I say alcaldía in English? City Hall. City Hall. City Hall. That's the one. So, that's the idea. Toda la information que den, please, you have to give it in English. Understood, everybody? Yes? Great. Okay, so let's start. Let's see. In this moment, only English. And important, tienen que hacer las preguntas correctas. No les digan solo, ah, uh, occupation? No, uh, ask them, what's your occupation? No le digan a su classmate solo, workplace? No, you have to ask them, where do you work? Okay, so let's go and complete the information with your classmates. Zero Spanish. Hello. Hello. <laughs> what you? Are you ready? You start, Guillermo. Okay. Okay, Lily. What's your name? Mm. My name is Lily Navarro. Okay. What's your phone number? Mm, my number phone is seventy five, no seventy six. Okay. Ten, eleven, twenty two. Okay. Where do you work? City um, Hall. Okay. What's your occupation? Um, my occupation, um, secretary, secretary, address. Oh, what is your job? Mm -hmm. What is your job? Uh -huh. Okay. Um, Mm. Uh, mm, mm, 
Miss Mayo in City Hall uh, on its own. El nombre de la calle no me lo puedo. It's on, on, on a street. Pero la calle no me puedo el nombre. The First Avenue. The First Avenue. Ah. Oh. On the First Avenue in, in, in front of a church. Yes. Mm -hmm. In front okay. of a church. Okay. Mm -hmm. What is your department? Oh. Um, I am now department. I am counselor. <laughs> I am. I. You know. I have. I have no department. Uh, I am counselor. I am counselor. Uh -huh. What is your ID number? Oh, ID. My um, uh, my ID is um. Zero zero six zero. Perdón, no, no escuché la última. What is your ID number? Your ID number. Eh, si voy a estar largo. ID es el tuyo. number? Yes. My Hopefully. ID number is a um, zero, zero three seven seven eleven ninety young ninety nine young nine. No sé cómo dice yo, no me acuerdo. Dash. Okay. <laughs> Dash nine. Dash. Dash nine, okay. Harvey. Harvey, you there? Yeah. yeah. What is what is your name? My name is Harvey Vladimir Gonzalez Duran. Where do you work? I work in uh, City Hall. Okay. What is your phone number? It's seven eight six eight eight o o o. Okay. What is your occupation? I am a assistant, an assistant, an assistant. Um, it's a, uh, what is it, your occupation is? Um, I, assistant, I am an assistant now. Yeah, that's correct. Okay. Next question. Next question. Okay. Uh, what is your department? It's urban. No. TV. Okay, go ahead. Urban development. Okay. Department. Development. Urban. Development. Development. Yeah. Development. Yeah. Okay. Then the next question. Where are is your job? Yeah. It's on Central Street. No. Where are is your job? 
Yes, is the address. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's on Central Street. Mm. Mm. Next to the shore. Next to the shore. Okay, yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. What is your ID number? It's 045. Mm. Dash two nine seven two. How do you say Guillaume? Dash. 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 Uh, dash night. All right. Ooh. Okay. Nice. Very good. Everybody answer already. Yes. yes? Yes. Yes. Okay, let's go back to the main room. Let's go back. Estoy jodido. Because Enrique. Ah. Are you sick? No, I don't know. Oh, I sorry, know sorry. Okay. All right, thank you. <clears throat> okay, everybody, nice practice. Was it difficult or easy? Easy. 50-50. Okay. Did your classmates ask the correct questions? Yes? Yes. yes. Okay. Did your classmate answer in English? Full English? Mm, yo no. <laughs> okay. 50-50. Ah, okay. Yo estoy platicando ahí con Guillermo. Ah, okay. Ya me delataste, pero platicamos en inglés también. But in English, right? Okay. Tengo una pregunta, Ticha. Go ahead. Por las address de City Hall, un poco más específica, barrio, el centro, ¿cómo se dice? Okay, if you want to say barrio, normally we can say neighborhood. Neighborhood. ¿Cómo se escribe, perdón? I'm going to send it. Neighborhood. Look. No. no I'm going, to, I'm sharing. Can ah, you see it? Yes. Mm -hmm. So we can yes. say neighborhood. Okay, neighborhood. This is like when you want to say barrio, colonia. So normally we say neighborhood. Okay. Okay. Sometimes some address has a number. Imagine que dice neighborhood, <clears throat> eh, ustedes dicen el name, and then it says avenue. Y no sé, tiene hasta un name o, o un number. So you can say in English, number 187, for example. Número 187. A veces en las direcciones aparece un number. So say it. You can say it in English too. Okay? Now, I have a question. What is the pronunciation of this number? Nine. Nine. Ah. Nine. Okay, ahorita sí, right? Nine. <coughs> but I was listening to nine. nine. Ese no sé cuál es. Nine. Mm. What, is, what is the pronunciation of this one? Nine. Five. Five. Ah, okay, por ahí escuché un five. Hmm. No, right? Five. five. Okay. Five. How about this one? Eight. 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 Okay. Eight. Sometimes Arby. I Arby. listen A. Mm -mm. No. Eight. 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 Imagine that I am giving my phone number or my ID <laughs> and there is this symbol. How can I say this? For example, ah, five, five, two, two, guion tres. So how can I say this? I don't eat. Dash. 
dash. Ok. Dash. 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 <coughs> Acuérdense cuando estábamos dando la información de los emails. Ahí vimos, dash. right? Dash. 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 Ok. Let me interview some of you. Let me start. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Ana. Hello, Ana. Hello. Hello, teacher. Ana, what is your full name? Hello, um, Ana Carmen Enriquez. Where do you work? Um, I work in the city hall. Okay, and where is it? Where is your job? Um, uh, I am a counselor. Mm, that is not the question. The question is, where is your job? Oh, dirección. Mama. Eh, Mama. Address. Mama. No, the address. Yes, where the is address. your job? Uh -huh. The address on um, neighborhood. Um, Block five, number one, in front of church, and next to the park, Tamaniki. Okay, thank you, Ana. <laughs> very good, very good. Okay, let's continue with Ernesto. Hello, Ernesto. What is your full name? My name is Jesus Ernesto Alarcón. All right. And what is the phone number? My phone number is... Uh, 76 um, 69 66 27 all right thank you what is your occupation uh, i'm a policeman all right and what is your department uh, actually is turismo all right. Okay. Thank you, Ernesto. Very good. Let's see. Hello, Guillermo. Hello. Where do you work? Where do you work? Um, in City Hall. All right. And where is it? Where is your job? Where is your job? Um, it, it's uh, um. Fifth Avenue, um, Second Avenue North, uh, next to the park, uh, behind church. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. And what is your occupation? My occupation is um, accounting finance. Ah, okay. Nice. Thank you, Guillermo. Okay. okay. Everybody, that's the idea. Okay. Ustedes deben ser capaces de poder proveer su personal information anytime. So imagine que de repente llega un turista y le diga, okay, what's your name? Fácil. Uh, where do you work? Uh, easy. Or imagine lo que les mencionaba ayer. Un turista les pregunta dónde está algo. Where is the church? Hey, where is the city hall? Where is the beach? Where is the police station? Hay que ser capaces de poder dar una address. Hey, ¿cuál es el número de la City Hall? Imagínense que les pregunten por el phone number de la City Hall. Ya sabemos cómo decir los numbers. Okay? So, that's the idea. We need to be able to provide personal information. Questions about the personal information? Or is it easy? I have a question. Go ahead. The numbers, bueno, the phone numbers, the answer one by one or, or two? Normally, we say one by one, okay? Imagine que el phone number is like this. It's just an example. Mm -hmm. Normally, in English, we go one by one. So we can say, oh, okay, phone number is 746 two five nine three one by one okay, no es muy común you. hay personas que lo dicen de dos en dos ah seventy four sixty two 
but it's not common. Lo más común es one by one. Okay? So, okay. más fácil, guys. It's even easier. All right. Any other question about personal information, everybody? No? Okay. Let's continue then. Imagine we checked simple present. Do you remember this topic? Uh-huh. Yes. A little bit. 50-50. Fifty-fifty. <laughs> okay, let's see how much you remember. I'm going to show you some sentences. Decide what is the correct answer. So the idea, everybody, if you don't understand something, tell me, I can explain again. For example, look at the first sentence. He is third person. So he, ta 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 to school on foot. So what do you think? He go? He goes go. or goes? Go. He goes. He goes. Hmm. Go. B or C? Letter B. B. Goes. 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 Yes. Very good. Okay. She watches. Watch. So, watch A, you. B, or C? C. B. Are you sure? Yes. C. C. Yes, letter C. She watches. Okay, pay attention here. My friends and I. Can I say watches? No. Watch. So, watch. So? My watch. Watch. watch TV. The plural person. Exactly. Okay, this is in negative. I need a volunteer for reading the sentence. Alex. Alex. Uh -huh. <laughs> doesn't do. So what do you think? Doesn't, doesn't do, do, doesn't does, or don't does? Don't do. Don't do? A. Mm -mm. Letter A, don't do. <coughs> uh, <coughs> does, does. Does and does. Doesn't does, are you sure? Doesn't. Doesn't. Okay, remember, yeah. Alex is third person, yes or no? Yes. Yes. Okay, so yes. in third person negative, what is the correct auxiliary? Don't or doesn't? Doesn't. 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 Okay, so what happens when I have the auxiliary? The verb needs changes, yes or no? Letter C. Okay. Letter B doesn't do. Doesn't do. Are you sure? Yeah. Yes, yes. that's the correct one. Now, pay attention here. Third person, the auxiliary is doesn't. doesn't. But remember, if you have the auxiliary, el verbo, no more change. Okay? The verb is normal in the basic oh. form. Okay, volunteer for reading this one, please. Uh huh. Volunteer for reading, only one, please. Jenny and Max. Does. does. Uh -huh. They are homework does. before does. dinner. Thank A. you. Does. So, Jenny and Max does. Are you sure? Do. 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 Yes. Do. 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 Why? Do. Why do you think that is do? It's a your day. Ah, do Jenny do. and Max. Do. 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 Correct. <laughs> exactly. Is do. Okay, I will be asking individually. Hmm. Let me start with harbin okay harbin this is a question and i'm talking about football so do max and ben play hmm does max and ben play do max and ben plays or does max and ben plays football 
What mm -hmm. is the best option? Remember, I'm talking about Max and Ben. What do you think? What is the correct answer? I think letter C. Letter C. So, do Max and Ben play football? Ah, okay. 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 We use auxiliar. No, it's necessary letter C. Exactly. S. The letter ah. S is not necessary. Letter A. Letter A. Yes. Very good. Very good. Okay. Next one. Lily. What would be the correct answer, Lily? Does you meet? Does you meet? Do you meet? Or do you meet? Remember, estamos hablando de you. So, ¿cuál auxiliary usamos con you? Do or does? Do. Do, ok. Entonces, estas dos quedan descartadas. Solo tenemos dos opciones. Do you meet or do you meet? Do you meet? Necesito la letter S. Si ya tengo una auxiliary. Um, no, no. No? So what is the correct answer? Do you meet? Very good. Everybody, remember, si ya tenemos auxiliary, el verb, don't need, I mean, doesn't need more changes. Okay? Next, let's see, Enrique. What would be the correct question, Enrique? I'm talking about she. What is the correct auxiliary if I'm talking about she? Enrique, are you there? Hoy, ahorita. Me iba la señal. Okay. What would be the correct question? I'm talking about she. Letter B. Letter B. Does she meet? Yes. Very good job. Very good job. Now, let's see, look at this question. Do they go to bed at nine o'clock? ¿Cómo respondemos a esta question? Do they, if the answer is yes, ¿qué decimos? Yes, they, they do. Uh, yes, they yes. do? Yes, they do. Yes, yes they, do. they do. Very good job. Si yo les pregunto, does he make cookies? What is the correct answer? No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. That's correct. Okay. If I'm talking about we, can I say we study? Studies? Studies. So, A, study. B, C, or D? Studies. Every Hi, everybody. What do you think? C. 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 Letter C. C. Why? Yeah. ¿Con quiénes hacíamos el cambio de agregarle la letter S? Uh, the letter Y and consonant. Ok, pero ¿quién tenía que ser el sujeto? ¿Quiénes son los que podrían llevar este cambio? The, the third person. The third person. ¿Quiénes son los third person, everybody? She, he, she, he, it. She, you. it. ¿Quién we. es el sujeto en esta oración? Is we. We. ¿Necesitamos el cambio? No. 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 So what is the correct we answer? Study. Study. Ah, be careful. 
Lo curioso es que me están respondiendo las más difíciles y en las más fáciles se me están equivocando. Hmm. Ok, what is this one? Jeremy. Ajá. C or D? C. No. Are you sure? Sí, vale, sí. Yes. Yeah. No. Habla de él. Sí. Uh -huh. Ahora sí. If you see Jeremy, is there a person? Yes or no? Yes. 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 So we need the changes. Okay. I'm talking about Kim. Kim. Negative. Kim doesn't. He doesn't go to the school by plan. Doesn't go. The auxiliary for third person is doesn't, and the verb doesn't need changes anymore. Okay, if I'm talking about cats, everybody, cats, sleeps, sleep, or cat. sleepies? <clears throat> sleep. Sleep. A sleep. A sleep. Is a Why? Plan. ¿Por qué no necesitamos la letter S in that sentence? It's the plural. It's in plural. It's in plural. Okay, the last one, please. Volunteer for reading. Jenny. Jenny. Play. 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 Jenny plays the guitar. Letter B. That's correct. Very good. Okay. Simple present. Yo sé que es difícil aprenderse todas las rules. Solo remember, si es tercera persona, tenemos que agregarle letter S. Si es en negative, tenemos que usar el auxiliary doesn't con terceras personas. Y si ya tienen auxiliary, el verbo, no more changes. El verbo va basic form. ¿Ok? Now, Before I continue, everybody, I need to check attendance again. So if you listen to your names, say present, please. Um, alguno de ustedes no estuvo at the beginning of the class. So be careful, please. If you don't say present at the beginning, tell me present now. Ana Carmina. Present teacher. Thank you. Douglas. <coughs> Present teacher. Thank you. Guillermo. Present teacher. All right. Harvey. Present teacher. Joannis. Present teacher. Ernesto. Present. Okay. Eh, Rigoberto. Present teacher. Thank you. Rigoberto, um, ¿usted no ha llenado la survey o sí la llenó? Ya la llené y ya la mandé al grupo también. Ok, thank you, Rigoberto. Very good. All right. Enrique. Present teacher. Thank you. Selvis. Present teacher. Ok. Sonia Elizabeth. Present teacher. Thank you, Sonia Veronica. All right, Wilson. Wilson Ortega. All right, Xiomara Elizabeth. Present. Thank you, Lily Navarro. Present teacher. Great job, excellent. Okay, everybody. I'm present Now. teacher. Okay. In person. Okay. Thank you, Wilson. Very good. Okay, everybody. Now it's time to practice listening. Okay. ¿Cómo va ese listening? Is good? Yes. Difficult. Tu <laughs> ah, come on. Let's listen to music in English. That is going to help you. Okay, we study there is, there are, and the prepositions of place. So let's practice listening. You are going to listen to some questions. Alguna de las preguntas dicen, where is the bank, for example? So you have to listen, what is the correct address? Ah, the number one is already answered. Where is the bank? Ah, the bank is behind the cinema. In the number two, 
you have to listen and you have to tell me what is the place. Si ellos están preguntando por un cinema, ok, ustedes tienen que decirme que es un cinema. Si están preguntando por un hospital, ok, <coughs> tienen que escribir un hospital. Tienen que escuchar what is the place that they are asking. And then you have to match the place with the address. Ah, where is this? Ah, there is one in the next town, for example. Oh, ah, it's over there. I don't know, okay? You have to match the answers, okay? So, pueden ir contestando, please, in your notebooks. And then we are going to check the answers. Microphones off, everybody, to avoid interferences. Microphones off. Pay attention, pay attention. Page 47, exercise 4A. 1. Excuse me, is there a bank near here? Yes, there is. It's behind the cinema. 2. Excuse me, is there a music shop in this town? No, there isn't. There's one in the next town. 3. Excuse me, is there a cafe near here? Yes, there is. It's over there in Station Road. 4. Excuse me, is there a hotel in this town? Yes, there is. It's next to the station. 5. Excuse me, is there a swimming pool near here? No, there isn't. The old swimming pool is closed now. 6. Excuse me, is there a museum near here? Yes, there is. It's behind the church. 47, exercise 4A. 1. Excuse me, is there a bank near here? Yes, there is. It's behind the cinema. 2. Excuse me, is there a music shop in this town? No, there isn't. There's one in the next town. 3. Excuse me, is there a cafe near here? Yes, there is. It's over there, in Station Road. 4. Excuse me, is there a hotel in this town? Yes, there is. It's next to the station. 5. Excuse me, is there a swimming pool near here? No, there isn't. The old swimming pool is closed now. 6. Excuse me, is there a museum near here? Yes, there is. It's behind the church. All right. Are you ready, everybody? Yeah, almost. Yeah. Yes, everybody, do you have the answers? Or do you need to listen it one more time? No. No, it's ready? <laughs> ready. All right. The number Everybody. one, the number one is already answered. He's asking for the bank. Where is the bank? It's behind the, it's behind the, behind the cinema. 
It's behind the cinema, right? Very good. Number two, what is the place that they are asking for? Music shop. Where is the music shop? Very good. Shop. Music shop. Okay, where is the music shop? Next to the town. Next to the, to the next town. There is one. The, the the next one town. The okay, next town. there is one in the next, the next town. town. So I have a question. Is there a music shop in that city? Yes or no? Uh, no. No, no there right? Not. There isn't. So, but there's one in the next town. Okay. Number three. What is the place that they are asking for? Cafeteria. 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 Uh, okay. It's a cafe. Okay. A cafe. And <laughs> where is the cafe? Over there. Over there. Uh, next to the okay, hold on, hold on. I'm listening to different answers. Some of you say that it's over there, and some of you says that it's next to the station. So what is the correct one? Next it's to the station. Next to the station. <laughs> Next to the station, and some of you it's says that it's over there. there. Yeah, <laughs> it's over there. Actually, okay, the correct answer is it's over there. So, it's <laughs> over there. Okay, number four, what is the place? The hotel. hotel. A hotel. Okay, and where is it? It's next to the station. Next to the it's next to the station. <laughs> Correct. Okay, number five. What is the place? Swimming pool. Swimming pool. A swimming pool. Okay. And what happens with the swimming pool? Where is it's it? Closing. It's closed now. Yes. It's closed. Is there a swimming pool in your city? No, there is. Mm. Oh. Okay. Number six. What was the place? Musician. Musician. Musician or museum? Museum. 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 Uh huh. Where is it? Is behind, behind the church. Behind the church. Behind the church. Is behind, behind the church. The all right, those are the correct answers. Imagine that this is the exam. Hmm, how many correct answers did you have? Six. Six of six? Okay. Yeah. So, six of six. And the rest of you guys, how many correct answers did you get? All of them correct? I'm five. I'm five. Five. Five of six. Okay. So far, so good. How did you feel the listening practice? Difficult or easy? Difficult. 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 <laughs> this audio was a little bit slower. Now, listen, yeah, please. Listening, it's difficult. I know. Es que no, nos cuesta traducir. <laughs> I know, but listen, con el tiempo, el objetivo es que ya no sea necesario traducirlo todo. Con el tiempo y la practice, cuando ustedes escuchen algo en inglés, ya no sea necesario que lo traduzcan, sino que automáticamente su cerebro lo entiende. Ese es el objetivo que se va a lograr poquito a poco. All right. Now, unfortunately, we don't have more time, everybody. Officially, we are ending the first level. You did it, everyone. Ya ven, si se Congratulations. Yes. Now, 
El regaño. No, no, come on. Actually, no, de hecho, quiero, quiero felicitar a Enrique. Enrique ya terminó toda la plataforma. Very good. Iba, 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 iba atrasado, pero se puso al día. Así que very good job. Now, actually. Excellent last night. Yeah, look, I'm going to share with you, this is the platform. De hecho, estoy viendo casi todos terminaron con muy buen score. Así que, eh, look, basically, solo tengo creo que dos personas que aún no han terminado, right? Así que, please, as soon as possible, ok? Los demás, super good. Creo que los únicos que estarían pendientes con notas um, sería Rigoberto. Please, um, usted no ha terminado, así que póngase al día con la plataforma. Creo que todavía les van a dar el sábado para los que no han terminado, pero sí necesito que se pongan al día. Y Wilson, Wilson creo que a usted solo le falta el examen final. Hola, Tomás, buenas noches. Hola, buenas noches. Hola, Wilson. <laughs> yes, así que eh, please everybody para los que no han terminado la plataforma, creo que solo ellos dos estarían pendientes, así que try to do it as soon as possible, all right? Para que no vayan a tener ningún inconveniente. Remember, la plataforma is an obligation, no es como que opcional. Please. So, T al final. Y nota final. Yes, la nota final. Look at this. I'm going to share it with you. Ese, oh, donde cojo. dice total, es su nota final. La nota mínima tiene que ser 80. So, si ustedes ven arriba de 80, super good. Look. Ahí se los voy mostrando. Fíjense en la última columna. La última columna es la que les va mostrando su nota final. Super, super good. De hecho, la mayoría... Tiene arriba de 90. So, 97 tengo yo. Uh, teacher, uh, I good. have a question. Yes. Uh, I have opportunity tomorrow for the end of the Está viendo, está viendo el partido. Está viendo el partido. Enrique, ¿Cuál es tu honor, on. para no, ¿Cuál look es tu at... honor? Ok, hold on. <laughs> <Hoy>. <laughs> Tanto que pelean y yo sé que se quieren. Son buenos amigos, maybe. Huh? Ok, Rigoberto, listen. Sí, le van a dar tiempo. Pero, please, it has to be as soon as possible. Así que, please, mañana trate de terminarlo, ¿ok? Ok, teacher. Eh, tomorrow, eh, mañana, mañana, mañana le termino eso, teacher. Thank Lo que you. pasa es que eh, eh, he, sido, he estado como Rogelio, super mega, ultra mega, contra el que te ocupadísimo ahí en, en yeah. mi trabajo. Pero, mira, hoy pero... se fue a las 12. <risa> ok, all right. So, al igual que Wilson, please, Wilson, hoy y mañana tratemos de colocar, ponernos al día con la plataforma. Ok, please. So, everybody, Wilson, officially. Yeah. <laughs> it's over everybody congratulations Woo! you did it Woo! very good yeah. así Teacher. que yes Douglas y el siguiente cuando comienza el lunes ok um, vaya con el inicio del próximo módulo aún no tengo fecha de inicio eso se los van a ir comunicando a ustedes los que decidan continuar ahí si se fijan creo que ya les preguntaron quiénes iban a continuar y que confirmaran así que cualquier información se las estarán haciendo llegar ya sea a través del grupo de whatsapp o personalmente a su correo así que ahí pendientes please para los que van a seguir que espero sean todos, ya vieron everybody, ya pasaron, ya terminó el primer Ay, nivel y todos han terminado con buena calificación. O sea, quiero que se fijen en eso, en sus results. Así que sí se puede, everybody. ¿Ok? Y usted mira siempre si seguimos como la maestra. I'm not sure. Eso sí no sé porque siempre se nos avisa del asignamiento de grupos hasta que ya va a iniciar. Así como que días antes mm -hmm. se nos avisa. Así que eso sí todavía no se lo podría Teacher. confirmar. Yes. Teacher, yo quiero agradecerle por la paciencia, la dedicación y la motivación. A veces uno puede tener un buen docente, pero que lo motiven, ¿no? Y, y gracias, créanme que la primera semana para mí conectarme y después seguir trabajando no es fácil. Pero gracias por su paciencia. Por Gracias por avanzar, Rogelio, también. 
por su entusiasmo, porque a, la, a veces las clases se sienten extensas, pero para mí las dos horas son súper, súper, súper rápidas. La, la <ríe> pedagogía que he utilizado, el mecánico. Ahí le puse que si nos podía dar el segundo modo. La, la <ríe> Así right. que muchas gracias. Eh, Thank you. My pleasure. Ha sido un placer, everybody. Y de verdad, yo sé que cuesta. Y créanme que por eso trato de motivarlos, porque yo sé que ustedes trabajan y ustedes tienen su propia familia, tienen mil cosas que hacer y aún así aquí están por eso yo trato la manera de motivarlos todos los días así que solo recuerden recuerden por qué están haciendo esto recuerden que sí vale la pena para que ustedes puedan seguir all right así que don't give up ya pronto de pronto ya van a ser bilingües everyone así que yes gracias so, muchas gracias my pleasure así que espero verlos por ahí pronto. Take care, everyone. Y desde ya, Merry Christmas yeah. and Happy New Year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. See you around, everyone. All right. Goodbye, everybody. See you. <laughs>